<laughs> Welcome to another episode of Cardi Kitchen. I got a surprise today. We are, uh, I got two guests, Cliff to my right and Ricky to my left. And um, we uh, just got done with a great golf weekend together as friends. And today is about, uh, we're going to do a meatloaf, what is it called? Like a cook challenge. Pie. Challenge, yeah, meatloaf <laughs> challenge. So uh, Cliff brought down uh, about two pounds of veal oh no venison, venison and brisket. brisket and then we've got 80 20 pound uh 80 20 beef chuck uh from rick <laughs> he loves his beef but we're gonna do a meatloaf Gold sandwich beef. <laughs> um we're gonna be doing a cheeseburger actually i'm sorry grilled cheese meatloaf sandwich and we're gonna get this all together and um cook it up so give us a minute here we're gonna start prepping so Cliff's gonna do uh, the chops of, uh, I'm gonna explain as these guys are chopping. So you're gonna do a half a cup. I'll get that out of the way. Half a cup of uh, chopped bell pepper and a half a cup of onion. And then the moisture maker is gonna be um, some milk and Worcestershire, oh I'm sorry, A1 sauce mixed with one egg. And then your dry ingredients is our um, garlic powder, Italian, uh, Italian seasoning, black pepper, and then um, breadcrumbs. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna cut up uh, four chunks of, what, about four to eight chunks, Kelly? <laughs> I say five. Five. We'll do five chunks of cheese that we stick in the middle of the, uh, or indent each of the, what you call it, uh, meatloafs. I'm the rookie chopper. <laughs> the Wookie or rookie? Well, both. The <laughs> Wookie too. Rick's been chopping onions since he's been three years old. Since 1923. <laughs> I love the smell of onion sauteing in the pan. Yes. Sometimes I just put them in there just for the smell. I'm not cooking any. So this has to be divided in half. Uh, we want a half a cup of each. Let me get you a measuring. Yep, go ahead and scoop those up and stick it in, in there. We'll get a half a cup. Where's the half a cup? Right about there. Okay. It's two thirds of a half right there. Perfect. So, all right. So that's a half a cup for. Um, Cliff, we'll stick those right there, and the half a cup for Rick. And the beef boy, you are the uh, veal tennis and venison boy. God, I can't, I can't get that. Well, that's because you made veal the other night for all of us. That's very true. And I love baby cow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> baby cow. Right. Instead of a moo, it's a me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, put the rest in yours. So we just put a little bit over. Rick, half same thing, half a cup, please. Do that. And it's right down there at the bottom for you. Okay. And so we got two. Um, you get one. That's about a half cup. Okay, dump, uh, dump your little pile right there. There you go. And this is your cheese. Your cheese. Your little cheese. And then, of course, cheese for all of us. Here's two <laughs> little, little tasties. Mm -hmm. Make sure this is okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just like USDA approved. Mm -hmm. Did you get another cup or a half cup or a uh, right. cup? Yeah, half a cup? Yep. Yeah. One more? Yes, yeah. please. Oven's ready. <laughs> All right. This stuff is right there. Excellent. And if you want to scoop the rest of those in that, oh, and then get 50, 50. Yeah, fill our, uh, yeah, I mean, if it's got a little extra on you, right. not much. Just there you go. Okay. So now we're going to get our, uh, oh, no, I'm sorry, guys, you got to have to whisk your egg and your milk. Okay. I know whisk. you're going to ask for the large whisk. Hello. I prefer to crack it with one hand. There you go. I prefer two. <laughs> yeah. One because one looks cooler than the other. One does look cool. Then we'll get some uh, A1 sauce. Oh, and this how, is how yeah. about that other device you have over there? Have you ever tried whisking an egg with that? No, I have not. Should we give it a shot? We should give it a shot. It yeah. ha it's a one tablespoon, two tablespoons, two tablespoons of A1 sauce. 
Ooh. One. Two. So Rick is going to use my frother. Oops. One. Wait, you use a frother? Well, he wants to see how it's going to work in there. Anyone can use a whisk, but if you got a frother. A little more? Mm -hmm. Just say a little more. A little more. <laughs> oh, God. I have a feeling this is going to go somewhere. Take, go ahead and time that fellow over there. He's, All right. It's going to be a while. I'm <laughs> almost done. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Look at that. Mine's more frothy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, try to keep the booger on there. All right. Huh. All right. Looks beautiful. So we'll get our meat. We got to put our gloves on now? You put, I put your gloves on. And I'm going to put the 80-20 uh, in the bricks bowl. And Kel, can I, can I get the uh, on them? I got it. If the glove doesn't fit, <laughs> you must, must have quit. quit. <laughs> yeah. What's it? Oh, it's wild. like a turd coming out. So, Cliff, tell us a little bit about this venison brisket. Okay, so venison brisket, we actually uh, shot the deer. <laughs> <laughs> that's where the story starts. <laughs> This video's banned on <laughs> and then, and, and then we take ahead. it down to this uh, Arnold Processing, and they uh, add brisket in it, and then mix it up and come out with the hamburger. Uh, very dark meat because of the venison, and very flavorful. Now, venison doesn't have a lot of fat, right? No, so you have to add something to the venison to give it that fat. All right. So you can do pork, you can do brisket, you can do pepper jack cheese, you can do garlic, whatever you'd like. And Rick's having a tough time putting his gloves yeah. on. They're a little small and my hands are wet. Yeah. All right. I, I think I got them on. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, yeah. That's about right. <laughs> well, while Rick is messing with his gloves, why don't you go ahead and uh, take and add all the what, Kel? Put all the kids in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> well, those kids are in the pool. Yep. You're gonna you're gonna massage that ever so gently. Ever so gently. And we don't want to overwork the meat. No. No. What happens then? <laughs> it becomes too mushy. Okay. So, um, Rick, go ahead and put your egg, uh, uh, your egg and water in there as well. Okay. Bringing the rest, some more kids to the pool. And then uh, the massage first. Okay. Let's do that. And bring in another kid to the pool. There we go. And that kid to the pool too? He, all the kids in all the pool. All the kids in the pool. So we got our um, Italian seasoning. Salt. Pepper. Pepper. And um, bread crumbs. Bread, or garlic powder, sorry. Bread crumbs. Yes. And now we got the peppers. The peppers. And, and the, on the onions. onions. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Ready over here? Yep. Now you're going to add your dry. Right. Okay. And now we massage. Massage it together. Massage, massage. There you go. Good. You know what? I think he's got a little more meat than you do. Yeah, I think it's a little bit more here. Add these two. But that's genetics. Add, yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, that is genetics. All right, you guys are good. <laughs> All right. So is uh is that look like too over massage? No, that's good. Okay. Um, so what we're gonna do also, we're gonna put this on the flat grill once we cook it in the oven. We're putting it at 350 for 40 to 45 minutes in our loaf pans, and then we'll bring it out, and then we're gonna make it uh, on our grilled cheese. Meatloaf sandwich. Sandwich. Inside out sandwich. Inside out sandwich. Well no, we no. we were gonna we using the sourdough today. Oh okay. We're going with sourdough. Extra sourdough. Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay, so now it's time to put the loaves in into the or the meat into the loaf pants. And we're gonna just gonna go ahead and they're gonna drop them in there. 
And kind of shaped it. Just pick the whole thing up, uh, Clippy. Well, I didn't. It took, it took my glove off. Oh, of your one glove. You need. You, no, so you're fine. doing the Michael Jackson on there. Right. Right. <laughs> Michael Jackson. Good, Rick. It's excellent. And you, and you want to remember she asked you to... A little edge. Yeah, a little, edge. little edge on the edge. You're such yeah. a good meat former, Rick. He, he Why, is. thank you. It's a little years. practice you can do the same. <laughs> Look at him form that meat. Wow. All right. I figured so, uh, to Cliff, why don't you bring this over edge. here so the top camera can get you right down there. Okay. There you go. You can see that. It looks good, Rick. Okay, now you're gonna well, take your that, Jeff. you're gonna take your cheese, your cut up cheese here, and you're literally just gonna pop it in into the just like right. that. Push them in. Well, I was getting there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought, here, I'll help you push. I'm sorry. I, I don't know if Rick needs all of them, but we'll see. Because yours yours is a little bit bigger. <laughs> Mine's a little bigger. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Rick, we can add a so don't push it all the way down, just gonna get it flat. Yeah, you want to get it just into it because that heat is gonna take it into there and each little bite. I push yeah. them all the way there. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna push yeah. them down a little further. Oh, okay, yeah. Kelly is, is guiding us here. This is her meatloaf recipe, and she doesn't want to say it's her recipe, but it is. <laughs> all right, there, yeah, we're, I, all, we're all we're all first time. First timers. Yeah, did you First get enough? meat loafers. Yeah, it looks like that one. This one go right there. All right. Did you eat any of the cheese? No. <laughs> okay. Not this time. So then we're going to take our ketchup. And again, this is to your uh, own flavor, right? I mean, how much ketchup you want. But I'm going to paint the top. And then Rick is going to take his uh, spatula, and so is Cliff, and smear it all over the place. Should we have smoothed it out before we do this? You can do it. You can do okay. it. You can do it. Is that enough of the ketchup? I think uh, so. I think a little bit more. I'm not sure you need to smooth it. I'm going to leave mine unsmooth. You're going to leave yours unsmooth? That's going to win the contest. You yeah. think so? Yeah. Unsmooth ketchup. Pretty or just taste better. Okay. More on, uh, Kelly's telling me, more on yours. I do love ketchup on my Oh, meatloaf. ketchup makes everything yeah. taste better. Especially when it's baked. All right, is that, a, is that enough? Is that enough? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, icing the cake so here. Vision. Vision. <laughs> vision. All right, so to my right is the venison brisket. Brisket. And to my left is the 80 20 ground chuck. Ground chuck. 45 minutes, you're going to see what this looks like. Thank you. All right, there's uh, number one, which is the venison brisket. Rick, grab the other one. We have the 80-20 beef. Yummy. Which will win. We, sure. Right here. Okay, so what we're going to do, as Kelly is showing nice pictures of this, we're going to excuse the two gentlemen that has helped me uh, cook. We're going to cut a couple pieces, and they're going to come in for a blind taste test. Arriba Jersey. How delicious one or the other is. Let me get my fork and tell you a fork. Rick, you got your fork? All right, uh, do number one first. Okay. Rick, do number one first. Let's see how this came out. All right. Mmm, that's good. good. Not bad. Yeah. Wow, that's good. All right, number two. Now I know which one's which. Boy, that one's really good. Get in that. Look at that. Yeah. Mm. All right, boys. I like number one. Rick, I'll go with number one because I know it's the beef. Number one. Um, you are incorrect. This is the <laughs> venison brisket. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's good. Well, I'm having another one. <laughs> yeah, to try it one more time. That actually is really good. We're not double dipping, right? Mm. No, we're not. Yeah, that came. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to cut these up. And we're going to make some um, grilled cheese burger. Oh, no, grilled Grilchy cheese meatloaf, meatloaf sandwich. sandwich. Thank yeah. you. That's really good. Very well, good. another Cardi Kitchen in the can. And we'll see you on the next episode.